Hello, hello, welcome in. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the what fourth round of or the fourth race of round three. Um, Almost already over. Really. It's crazy. Yeah, that's right. This is the second to last race. Should be a pretty banger of a race. Um, we have three really good runners. We have Wave, who is one of the best runners in PSR. We have Wanley, who is one of the best Fireleaf Green runners, and we have Chippy who is slowly making his way into the conversation of one of the best racers in this game for this season. So it should uh, definitely definitely be a good race to see. Um, we're going to get started here. I mean, yeah, I mean, second. at this point in the tournament, there's not really any good matchups you get. But, like, honestly, this is probably one of the scarier ones for the three involved. Was this the race that Chippy was pot one and draw the... The other pot two and pot three, uh, or that no, last I think, round. I think, I think that was last round. Yeah. So wave is the pot one this round. Chippy's the pot two, and Wanley's the pot three, which is kind of surprising that Wanley's pot three. But you know, it just sometimes racing goes to show. You know. Yeah. Sometimes racing this game, you just I don't know. You yeah. can be the best. You can be the best player in the game and still just get unlucky, and then you just get screwed over. It's just how racing this game is. But we're getting started here. We have no emulator runners, so everybody's gonna be on an even playing field right away. I feel like that's the first time in a while it's happened. Yeah, usually you typically see one or at least one emulator runner. Um, but yeah, nothing too crazy here in the beginning. You know, smash the text boxes. Name yourself. Name your rival, name your Squirtle, check your ID. Uh, look at these Squirtles. Honestly, I like all of them. These are all really solid rashes. Like, you'd be really happy with all of these in a PV attempt. Yeah, I kind of like Chippies the most because, I don't know, 31 speed, you can kind of get put in some weird spots. But at least with 29, you can get a couple speed EVs and just grab Carbos for Sabrina and just be fine. Or yeah. you always get Carbos for Sabrina, but you know, just get a couple sweet EVs for Blaine and it's fine. Uh, I probably should open up something real quick. Uh, yeah. Way with the significant lead already. Mashing skill <laughs> diff. The race is over. The race is a rat. Will any of them attempt the Manip? I think probably at this stage it's pretty unlikely. Yeah, but, probably you know, not. But yeah, never know. Never know. That'd be funny. None of them change their Squirtles, so I just I doubt it. <clears throat> Hopefully, no rival one deaths. I still believe there has been no rival one deaths in this tournament. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. You know, trying to give that, that kind of jinx it. Curse, <laughs> but like, you know what I mean. I'm just throwing that out there in the universe that that hasn't happened in this tournament. Yeah, rival one can be weird because like, I don't know. I don't know why it is, but sometimes it just randomly growls whenever you hit the right Squirtle, and I don't know. And it's just weird. It's annoying. Yeah, yeah, a little update on the other race, while we're chilling in, in rival one here. I uh, he actually got growl, that's pretty funny. Yeah, it's just weird, I mean, I swear you always see growl at least one time in, across the board <laughs> with three runners. One, they got crit, okay, thank you for not missing. Chippy also got crit. Chippy, I mean, Chippy's in a little dicey spot here, one more crit and it's... Bad news bears. We're just fine. Just tap it in. Thank you. Yeah, so like I said, there's a little update on the other race. Uh, looks like Anilan is going to surge right now. Uh, all these other guys are cruising in hideout. So let's see how these route ones go. It's one lean route one first. <clears throat> Grab the mark guy potion. Very typical stuff here. Wait, getting the level 3 bird going for it, I like it. 
you are favored to kill these when you have good attack, so I don't mind going for this, so. It can definitely be punishing, but. And with 31 speed, you know, you could, he's gonna benefit a lot off of uh, getting the extra EVs if that's what he wants to do. Yep, definitely. But you have to make sure you get enough or else it doesn't go well. Yeah, exactly. You either get enough and then skip Carbos or you just skip Carbos anyways, I don't know. Chippy didn't, I think Chippy didn't get the, the three shot there. On the bird, on the bird. Happens. For sure. Um, looking good. Chippy getting another level three bird, killing it. Again. That was like a pretty good roll. Yeah, he should kill this. I don't think only got experience, but. Yeah, that's just what I do, Ekman. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. So Chippy is the one with bubble. That's good. Makes your catches way better and also makes the Weedle guy fight better. An underrated thing about getting bubble two is like as long as you have the potions and your health is pretty high, you can typically just skip saving for Sammy. It's kinda risky, but if you play it safe enough you really can't die with bubble. Yeah, yep. everybody's got their experience. Yeah, Wally doesn't have experience, I believe. Plenty of time for that. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. He's, he's a very pretty big lead. But it'll even out very quickly here with the fact that he's experienced. Level 3 Bird, it's his best friend. He loves these. Yeah, they're so fun. Uh, okay, yeah, nice crit. You'll definitely take the guaranteed catch for sure. You're definitely not mad about getting these guarantees, especially on Route 1. You don't have to worry about that. When you're doing any percent runs, like you know, straight up runs, like these these catches can just drain your time if you try to go for the 78% or the 62%. So. Now, I'm not a fan of going for the 62% in races at all, so I definitely like tackling that again. Yeah, 62 is pretty cringe in races. It's so independable. Yeah. Okay, so Wandy's got... getting a very good route one. Okay, he's gonna kill this for sure. He kinda just has to. At least he gets bubble out of it. He can get a bird later, no problem. I don't know, is that 78 per wave? I don't know. Uh, I, I can never tell. Yes, I think it is. Okay, nice. That's not dying for Wandy. Please don't do it, Pidgey. Thank you. Please tap it in. Thank you. Right, Wanley has a bird and experience. Wave has his experience and a rat. Chippy has another 78. Getting the speed fall with the bubble. Really want this to get in. If he doesn't get in, he needs to heal on the next turn. Just because. Okay, good. Wow, wave at the tutorial at a pretty fast time. Mm-hmm. Wanley as well. I mean, sub-7 tutorial with a catch and experience. I mean, yeah. in a race, it's like... Yeah. Pretty good route ones for wave in, Chip in uh, Wanley. And Chibi's route one hasn't even been bad. It's, you know, he got bubble and his time's still not even that bad, honestly. I would honestly consider it a solid time for getting bubble. For bubble and a catch. So Chibi did get his two. Let me look up the I'll look up the twenty. I don't remember the twenty nine speed stuff. Oh, okay, that's what it is with uh, twenty nine. Because with uh, twenty nine, if you get three speed EVs in Carbos, you outspeed Sabrina. But with two speed EVs in Carbos, you don't outspeed Sabrina. So getting the two on Route One is pretty good because you're pretty much getting at least one in Moon. I'd hope. That's not always the case, actually, so. Especially in a race. Yep.
We're gonna throw it out into the universe that all the other racers are in the other race, they are all <clears throat> on Lavender Rival at the same time. So very, very close race over there. <laughs> um Looks like Wave will not get the extra potion in the bottom right, which is fine. You can ask here, right? So. Wanley's definitely getting it. That might have been a one percent for Wanley. I don't know. I wasn't counting the steps, but that was pretty close together. Wanley's yeah, four HP. Is... When you're four health, what? I don't know. If you're gonna potion like before Sammy, I would just potion like as soon as you possibly can because like you yeah. never know what could happen with an encounter in here. All it takes is a Pikachu. Like no, really, not really any need to risk that. I guess. Yeah. One. I mean, there's definitely universes you could run into Weedles that you can't run away from as well. I don't know. I've seen it plenty of times. Okay, wave starting. The Samuel fight. Sammy's not. He's probably one of the more annoying fights of the run, especially since you don't have a revive for it. Yeah, you just are forced to play it super safe. Fairly Where likely to die if you get crit in a lot of situations. Yeah, like Wave's got a heal now. I mean, I guess not. He did save, so he's can. Okay, Wave healing. He did get poisoned on the first turn, which is kind of annoying. You want to get poisoned, but like getting poisoned on the first turn just drains you a bunch of time. So, and you're seeing Chippy benefit immediately off of having Bubble versus these guys. Want to get in poison? That's good. So, two out of three poisons. Okay, Wave takes it down. Wave will be going to five HP. Chippy is high HP. Not poisoned. Wave's gonna go down to five. Wally will also go down to five. And Chippy can't really do anything. He just has to just kind of go in. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, pretty... I mean it happens. You just don't get poisoned yeah. sometimes. It's yeah. Pretty annoying. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it, it makes the gym. Or it can make the gym a lot safer if you get through Sammy, or not Sammy, if you get through Liam with, like, no damage. This is true. It can make Brock quite safe. Or you can make it where you can play it extra safe. Same for Liam, this fight is also horrible. Or it can be. It can just be a quick and easy three-turn fight, or it can literally just be a... You know, five, six, seven turn fight. If bad things happen, these fights have both got to be bad, got to be worse than Brock itself. They're in races, they're just like yeah, I don't you know, can just get drained. Like fairly safe. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, you're pretty much just like getting crit or some something on a bad turn from Brock. Like that's the bad stuff. Yeah. And you could typically like kind of play safer. Should be getting tackled on the Geo dude. That's nice. You do goes down for that. Check this roll for wave. It's a solid roll. Should be favored to die. Give me scratch. Please die. Okay, that's fine. Wave will just heal on the onyx. No big deal. It's a good roll for Chippy. Oh my Poor god, he's going for to the wrong <laughs> Wait, you are? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, wait, why, why is main talking? <laughs> Wait, Wanley also got scratched. Wanley missed a range and got scratched as well. He'll heal on Onyx. Wow, Chippy ended up at solid health. Let me see what he's taking here on this. Rash 27. Oh, he's level 11. This honestly ended up being good health for him. He just needs to get the range. He's chilling. Yeah, Chippy is in the position to get the best fight here for sure. Yeah, we'll see them. Wave's gonna have to heal. For sure, look at Rock Tomb, don't miss, thank you. For eight. It will, 
He'll he bubble withdraw. on his turn. He'll bubble and then withdraw, I think. Wanley had to heal on the... Heal on the... Did he heal on the Geo, dude? I'm not a fan of that. Just get the range for Chippy, please. Nice. Big. Just don't get crit for Wave, and he's good. Uh, oh my okay. god, that was Okay. Okay, he's, he's like that. Rock to 7, I don't think that should have happened. With his defense. Uh, that might have been a 1 to 16 or something. Wait, 31 Rash, Rock Tomb. Dude, what am I looking at? Uh, yeah, that was the high roll. Pseudo rolled the 7, and then Rock Tomb him. I mean, you well, take I mean, it, I guess, but... Yeah. <laughs> Works out for him. Absolutely. Yeah, Wave is in Torrent. Wan Lee's health is not great, but Chippy got the best fight there, so I mean, they're also relatively close. But yeah, Torrent forever. Take this. And you definitely in a race, like, you love being at health like this, because you literally can just cruise in Route 3, go fight Bugcatcher in the moon, and just not even think about it too much. What's up, Amoeba? Wanly, okay, yeah. So, I'm pretty sure Chippy at least has it for, has Torrent for 13 or 14, which is all you realistically want. You know, obviously you want it for 13, 14, and 15. You want it for all of Misty Split until Misty, pretty much. But it doesn't always work out that way. You want it at least for 13 to 14. So as long as you have it for that, you're not, you're not too mad. Chippy doing late surge shopping. I believe Wave will as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Wanli will be a not lay surger, I believe. When will Wanli stop selling Rock Tomb and losing time? I don't know. Oh my god. I mean, in these later races, man, I mean, I don't know. Every second counts. I don't know. He has to stall on Colton. Like, can this go very poorly. Eleven potions on. Very, very safe. Yeah, so Chippy should be fine. I'm not good at knowing the HP values and stuff, but he should be at least torrent for 14. It's a good one, Mach 1. Uh, I mean, if he gets 2 plus 2s, he loses it for 15, so that's why. I mean, it doesn't matter that much. The wave keeps it forever. One of these is going to kill this Caterpillar, we'll stall on the second one. Wanley getting the Colton Classic. 50 50 for String Shot, but for some reason it always does that. It's not 50 50. 50. It's not 50 50, even though it is. Okay, Wanley's fine. He got trolled. He should have bubbled on the second turn. That's fine. Ah, uh, maybe he should have. Whatever. Wanley's better than me. Sorry, Wanley. I'm not to patronize you. Wanley's one of the homies, so he has to hear it a little more than the other guys. <laughs> I'm saying, let's go, Wanley. Uh, that's funny. Alright, Wanley has it for 14. Chippy is good. He lost Torrent, I believe. I was like half paying attention. Wave's good. This is just like, this is honestly just cruise central. Like that's what Route 3 is. Just You're either in Torrent and you're cruising or you're not and you're just losing a couple turns. Like, nothing too crazy about it. I don't even know what the catch situation is. I think Wave needs a bird. Wanley has his bird. I don't know what Chippy's situation is. I think Chippy has a bird and Wanley has a bird and Wave has a rat. I don't believe any of them have three or all two. Whatever I'm trying to say, whatever. All three of their pokes. Chippy with the good pass. Very easy. Oh wait, Wanley cut the Metapod? Nice. Yeah, way of getting his bird. Don't get trolled, please. Thank you. 
Wanted to kill the Caterpie right there in... Uh, out of Torrent. It's a range, 10-16. Yeah, basically either that or you get hit and kill this. Are the two good outcomes there? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what That's I That's crazy. Wait, oh, that is a, that. I literally was wondering that in my head. I was like, is this a 78? I'm pretty sure it's 78. And then, yeah, wave gets a 78 percent break. Luckily, he could have got trolled there and died, but he's fine. He's going to fight Bugcatcher. Not even think about it. Oh, Chippy with the dicey movement there. If he wouldn't have adjusted by that one tile, he would have hit Josh. Yeah, Chippy going to fight Rocket. I mean, some people don't like fighting Rocket, but in this situation, I mean, Rocket is just correct. No if fans or buts about it. I mean, obviously, you're not happy about playing it. You're like fighting Rocket in a race, but like, it's just correct. He gets the Speedy V, which will allow him to get Sabrina with the Carbos, and then. Wow, he got crit. Please get the range. Okay, nice, easy. Huge for Chippy. You miss that range, you realistically either you have to make a decision, do you want to risk? I mean, you probably heal in that situation because you're literally 75% to die, but you still have to make a decision of like, do I want to heal or do I want to just straight up risk this? Because you do have the revive, so it's not like the end of the world. But. Uh, I'm not sure, Doctor. I know that. I'm pretty sure, so whenever they go into the next fight, Chippy that is, against a rocket. Wow, did one of these get Hyperfang flinch? Wow. That, that is, is very really unlikely. Bad. Oh, one they getting trolled, bad. Yeah, Hyperfang, I'm pretty sure he got Hyperfang flinch on the first turn, had to heal because he was 75% to die. Didn't miss, a, didn't miss a 10 to 16 range, and then had to heal again, and now he's at horrible health, so. All right, we're gonna check Chippy's pokes here. See what he has. I'm pretty sure he only has one, yeah. He's got one, yeah. And it's a bird, so, it's, so like, if, you are, if he had a rat, then he would've caught his bird already, so that's how I know he has a bird, because you catch a rat before Cerulean, or you catch your cutter before Cerulean, so. I'm pretty sure Wiley's in the same boat. He needs the exact same thing. So Wave has both. He's already fought his optional. I'm gonna watch this sick pass from Wave because I love seeing this. Good stuff. Should be with a little bit of a lead, but he still needs. Is cutter. But realistically, I'd say waves in the lead at this moment. The slight lead. Chippy's health is quite bad. I wasn't paying attention to like why his health is in this situation, but. Okay, he's probably at three health going into the rat, I guess, maybe? Or he was at three health on the... Or grime grime or something. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You are just one in four to die in that situation. More than that. Pound and poison gas both kill you. True. Should be getting the poison gas now. Wow. Wave is being Doesn't trolled. Matter. Holy, these guys are being trolled. Yeah, he might have been dead a quick attack, so he potioned, but at that situation, I don't know, man. I don't, it's such a hard, like, thing to... You're literally just tossing it up in the air if you want to just risk it or not. Wave Poison, he'll heal this on the Voltorb, because he'll get put back into Torrent with his Poison Tick. It's fine, though. Even with all the shenanigans, I would say Chippy's now in the lead, assuming no... Troll on the... Cutter situation, I'm gonna grab the great ball, yeah.
Wow, we missed the 14 and 16. This is unbelievable. Not very lucky on that fight for wave. Not at all. Should we jump into his grass? After he's on Mega Kick. Getting Jack Sparrowed. You hate to see it. Yeah, rest in peace to Main. I do see that he died on the other screen. I can't really watch, but. Rip. Chippy getting Jack Spearowed once again. Wow. Three Spearows in a row for Chippy. That's. Very unlucky. You are like 65% for a yep. for either a rat or a sand shrew in this grass. So just wonderful. And then one gets his rat right and away. Early. Yeah, at least you got rewarded with the sand shrew at the end of it all. But at what cost? He does have a great ball, so this should be guaranteed catch. So. I'd imagine. I'd hope. If it's not guaranteed. It's at least 78. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's seven everybody, for sure. Everybody has oh, their wait, no, no, no. It's guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. No, it's definitely guaranteed. It was grateful. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, makes sense. I have play round two, by the way. And I just don't know any of this stuff. I just throw stuff, throw balls. Pray All you it. need. It doesn't change right. how you play, so. That's right. Who cares? Correct the window. Wave doing his menu, teaching bite. Literally, it's such a good move. You get it so early. You literally use it the whole run. So, the fact that you get it at 19, such so a good. Imagine if Blastoise was like Dark type as well. For some reason, Water Dark. <laughs> that nice stab bite. Be the good stuff. All right, Wave going to into Misty. With this, he sh honestly. I don't know what he's seeing here. He's probably 50-50, I think, for Swift or Water Pulse. I don't know how that works, but, like... Uh, he really should be getting Water Pulse here. Yeah, All of them I'd, probably I'd, will. I'd, I'd imagine. Should be going into the center, which isn't the isn't the craziest thing. It's a little safe, the E-Strat you can do. Just go into the center in case you die to Misty. You just spawn right back there. But if you have the Revive, and you don't Damn. save the Misty... Oh, that was a good roll, to... too. Okay, yeah, good roll. I'm trying to... Dual watch these. Wait, gets the range. range. Right, gets these through. Good stuff. That was not a guaranteed range from there. Wanda got confused by the star you. Gets the range. Another bad Good. Ball. Should be getting water pulse. Didn't get confused. Wanda gets water pulse. His Persium is already gone, by the way, so. Not Does quite good enough to go for it, yeah. Wow, Wanda getting confused again. Holy moly. Chippy's confused. There goes the Persum. Wanda gonna post you on this turn. Oh right my there. god. Wait, what just happened? Headshot for Chippy. Holy. Wanda swapping on Star Me. I'm not that mad about it, honestly. I actually kind of like that. Compared to just trying to straight up risk the confusion hit through. He just swaps, loses a little bit of time, but guarantees him the win, pretty much. Assuming no crit on that turn, but she did not. Okay, Wandi's health is fine. I assume he'll probably just potion. He might potion on the first turn, Pidgeotto. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. We'll check out Wave's fight here. Yeah, Rival 2 is definitely one of the worst fights in a race setting. Like, it's horrible. Especially now for Chippy, because he's such high HP. Might be a yeah. little bit cringe. Well, you've got tackle from the Pidgeotto. Strange. You don't see that often. Did Chippy not save? I don't know. I think he went into the center, so I think he's fine. He did go into the center, but... Wow, wave with the flinch. Just tap it in. Good stuff. Alright. He's good. I mean, he is above... Obviously, he's gonna be fine here, but, like, being above half just sucks. Flinch nice. there is really good. Yeah, being, being above half just sucks because it's Pidgeotto. Likes going for sand, but you gotta get past his bubble sword as well, being above half, it's not great. 
Yeah, waves through. He's chilling. We're not worried about him right now. He's cruising. Getting put to sleep. This is typical. This is the turn you're scared of. Okay, got Vine Whip. It's good. Just gotta tap it in with the kick. And he misses. Cue the clown music because this is where the crazy things can start happening. On the above half, on the other hand, there's the, the good example of being above half getting sand. Okay, it should be getting hit. Or hitting, I should say. Where's life? No, Chibi did not die. Chibi did not die. Nobody has died on this run yet. Wanley's just had a pretty slow fight here and having the swap and stuff. No, Chibi did not die. He was at health where he was dead. He was either dead to pound or dead to quick attack on the, the fight before. He was either dead to Grimer, pound, and he potioned, or he was dead to the rat, quick attack, and potioned. I'm not sure. I was I was kind of watching Waves POV at that point, but yeah, Chippy. All three of these guys had pretty bad moons, to be honest. Nobody's died yet though, which is good. Wanley did get through as well, so that's great. No rival one or rival two deaths, but they are all not that fast. Or Waves was fine. Chippy's and Wanley's wasn't that fast, but you know you definitely still take it. You take not dying every day of the week. Mm -hmm. And now we're on the cruise central bridge. We'll see if Wave opts to just just bite the Oddish or if he goes for the kick. Wave being Wave, I imagine he goes for the kick. See, like saving time. I respect it. No, he doesn't. I love it. I love it, Wave. I love it. Yes. Ooh, I mean, rewarded. I mean. Yeah, so that, that actually has quite that has a couple upsides, right? It's just not only that, you know, like you, you can't risk chain missing and then, you know, getting super trolled, but also like your kick count's kinda tight on this bridge. Mm -hmm. Um, so like that not kicking that one like kinda makes it pretty likely that you'll be fine on kick PP. Yeah, exactly. So you literally can just sit there and chain miss and like if you miss two kick literally if you miss one kick, it would have just been faster to double bite, it, so Yep. So you'll definitely see the difference in uh, some runners' choices there. Chippy is at health where he, yeah, Chippy has to heal. There's no other option. He has to heal. Yeah. Yeah, but way past that Oddish. Once you're past the Oddish on the bridge, you're literally just cruising until the next Oddish girl, which is the last fight on the split. Yep, Chippy going for the bite. I mean, just rewarded all around with with biting, I mean. I mean, it, it, obviously it is faster just to go for kick and hit it, but like like I said, if you just miss one kick, it literally would just been worth double bite, so. Definitely would like to see more people, you know, adapting that. Just, just double bite. Too many good upsides for doing that. Cruising. So while we're on the bridge here, I'm gonna take a peep at the other race. Cause nothing too crazy is gonna happen for the next couple minutes here. Seems like Anlan is starting Silf Rival. He didn't save, and it looks like Bouncy is also about to start Silf Rival. So, and Main did forfeit. So as long as these guys literally just play correctly, I think they'll both probably advance. Assuming no chain death somewhere. That is a good rumor, PSR TV too. <laughs> okay. Wave on the last fight at bridge. It does happen. Okay, let's see here. Um, wait. So wave is late, Surge. 
<laughs> the tabs aren't coming through your mind. I moved it further away. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. It's all Goodman, it's all Goodman. This is the content we love. Alright, Wave doing the... Wave is doing Late Surge, and he didn't fight Hiker Franklin, so that means he's gonna fight a different trainer in Rock Tunnel. Uh, Chibi's in Torrent, so he will fight Hiker Franklin. Wave with the clean damn pass. Love to see it. There's no, is anyone still doing the Shiro Pass? I actually don't know. Uh, yeah, people definitely still do that, for sure. I don't think anybody in this race will do it, but... I've seen it in a minute. Yeah, I know Anan does it. Uh, Matt Genius does it. Maybe Matt Genius does it? I don't know. I don't think Mockwing does it. I think they can do it, but sometimes they just opt to go for the faster pass, which right. is just the 1 in 16. Chippy not fighting Franklin? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I, I think he fights Lenny generally. Yeah, but I mean, if you're Torrent, I thought if you were Torrent, you just fight this guy. I don't know. Uh, that might be correct. Yeah. I mean, his attack's good enough to where it doesn't really matter on Martha, I believe. Uh, Wanley getting trolled by Dan. He's looking left. Can't really do the pass. Chippy doing the pass. Gets it. Levels out apparently. Uh, so, for 25. I, I, I guess yeah. I guess the appeal is like being able to water pulse the first oddish, having yeah, 25 right. for that. Fair enough. That's a really nice range. Yeah, so that's another situation. You still have to use a kick. Anytime you can just not use kicks, you oh, are. Oh, that too. Yeah. You Very. are jumping. You are jumping all over that. Wave at my favorite HP. He had his first kick. Misses his Miss. second kick. Unlucky. Go for the double bite now. Zorb. Owie. Damn, that did a lot. Well, this health's actually better now for him. I don't know what his kick count looks like. He used one on rival, one there, missed one. So he should have two kicks left. I don't... Two, maybe one. Stab, very effective, critical hit, do a lot of damage. Skip an ether, it's another benefit of the late sir drought. You can just skip grabbing the ether all around, which is pretty cool. Wave looking at a high 36 bill, which is a honestly not that bad of a time, honestly, for a race. You're yeah, definitely. <laughs> Seemed like Chibi did hit his kick. I was. 37.02, Bill. It's a, lot, it's a lot to look at. So. Should be missing his kick. Wanley biting the Oddish. Flinch. Immediately benefiting off biting. Flinch is pretty fast. Like, if you get Flinch, you actually, like, don't lose that much time at all. Yeah. Especially compared to, like, getting Sweet Scent. Yeah. I mean, and getting Absorb isn't fast either. Super effective attack, so. What it's like, yeah. I mean, it's definitely very fast. Wally just biting his ass off. I love to see it. I love it. Honestly, just Wally just opting just to not kick as much as possible. And I honestly just have to respect it. So wait, is Chippy not doing light surge? I thought he was. So maybe I'm just crazy. He, he actually might have switched. But his kick count might just be bad, so he might just want to get the ether anyways. Well, I, I, thought we, not I thought we said what? he did the late surge shopping. Yeah, yeah. In yeah, a computer. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, that's a good point, Fackman. Yeah, you can just pick it up, the ether, and then guarantee uh, later you can do kick strats. For live and arrival. Like, guaranteed kick strats. Or if he's not torrent right now, he kind of needs the kicks, right? So. Let's 
He needs a kick for Drowsy, the kick for Raticate, like... I mean, all these guys are still pretty close together, I mean... Chippy and Wanli literally with... Within seconds of each other, and Waves probably about a minute ahead of both of them. Minute, minute 30. With that... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, if he's picking up the ether, he is in Torrent, so yeah. So yeah, he definitely picked up the ether just to probably seal kick strats later. Or to have a little bit of extra safety if you get trolled in Rock Tunnel or something. So, I honestly don't- I don't hate the play. Uh, I believe Wanley is the only one doing early surge in this race. I believe. Wave out of kicks, I think, so he's... Water pulsing that, confuse it, unlucky that it didn't hit itself. This health is, doesn't matter, honestly, for late surge, because you're just taking the boat heal anyways. Wanley hitting his kick on the drowsy. Yeah, Wave is indeed doing late surge. A good indicator as well is that if they don't take that shot as soon as they get to Vermilion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause you Good definitely point. take that, you take that center, or you take that shop immediately. A little bit of a different strat here compared to early surge. Oh yeah, you don't grab the candy till later, and that also saves the turn frame. Just a little, little, little sprinkle on top of the late surge, save your eight frames. Finally getting citrus. Good strat. With this health combination, uh, Citrus isn't that much of a benefit, but I mean... Yeah. He's done way more of these races than me, so I, I definitely respect his, his choices. Ooh. Should be getting the bike voucher early. Another point of getting, or doing uh, late surge, you're getting the bike voucher early. So, yeah. Yeah. Wave. Exactly. Like I said, it actually make a difference. All right, but... I'm locked in on Wave here for a second, see how this goes for him. This kick is huge to hit on Ivysaur, like, okay, it hits it, it's just such a big kick, wow. Just headshots to Ivysaur with a kick. Holy. It's a great crit, you love to see it. Wave just smacking Rival 3, just absolutely... Absolutely smacking him, destroyed him. Annihilated, see you later. Yeah, Wave is cruising right now. His health is not great, but... With no surge I mean, to worry about, there aren't too many large obstacles. Where is Chippy going? I'm not sure. Oh, he's going to get these berries. The berries, yeah. Chesto. That's for... That's like a wake of berries. Chesto? Right? Okay, he just gets the Chesto. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I know why he does this. It's so if you miss on the Ivy Sword and it puts you to sleep, you have that for a little backup. Yeah. Yeah, Wave is honestly cruising right now. His health, like I said, his health isn't good. You want to definitely be in Torrent, if possible, for Late Surge, for Rock Tunnel, and the Giovanni 1 split. But it's not... It'll probably lose him some time not being Torrent, but with the lead he has now, honestly, I could imagine he does not really care about his health that much. Right, so we're gonna see two very different rival fights here. Wanley goes in at health where he's not full. Chippy's going in at health where he's full health. Yep, Chippy getting sanded immediately. This is what happens when you're above half. Yeah. That's just how it goes. That's why this fight stinks at this health. It's also why this fight is probably one of the worst fights on this route. Um, Wave needs to get the bike voucher, that's fine. Wanley biting. Sleep powder hits. Getting quick attack this time. Alright. But he saved the turn frame. Wanley needs to heal this health. He's dead. Should be going for the kick. Missing. That's such a bad miss, man. Wow. Kick miss into poison powder. I mean, that's just kind of crazy. Not a big fan of that. Wow. And wow. Kick miss <laughs> into poison powder into leech seed. He needs a swap, oh, honestly. He needs a swap, probably. Yeah. yeah. This isn't even like that good because this is dying. 
And then Wani on the other screen. Wani yeah. on the other screen cruising. Yeah, great. Wani's through. He's chilling. Cause now he's poisoned. Is this guaranteed to die to bite? Is that dying with water pulse? It's not. He's not torn. Oh, he's in danger now. He's, he's, he's dead. Over, bro. He's dead. He's dead. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That might have just been a miss input. I don't actually know. I would have liked to see him maybe heal the poison off on that turn. I don't know. That was just such a bad situation. Poison powder is one like yeah. you don't really see, you don't see poison powder often. To see that and then after that to get leech seed is just such a bad combo. And it, he would have been fine if he had both slaves alive and he could have just double swapped and then been fine. But there's realistically nothing he could have done otherwise. The only option he could have had would have been to heal the poison on the turn he swapped back in. Yeah, it was either miss input or yeah, for sure. I see what I'm going saying. Torrent water pulse would have killed that for sure on that turn. Okay, miss him this time. Chippy's just missing, man. This is okay. Chesto Berry, please hit Chippy. Thank you. Okay, that's dying this time. Miss lucky. Please just vine whip on this turn. Wave missing on Alicia. Okay, good. Chippy's fine now. He's not happy about it, but he's he's not. He's not dead again. So that's the big thing. The water guns retard eradicate. I I like that because I mean oh, it gets him in it gets tight, him in the right? Isn't it? Oh wait. Say it again? Is kick BP tight on late surge? Maybe he didn't want to kick. Because he's not both yeah, yelling at also. Yeah, but also I think he might have done it just to stall for a little bit. Yeah, his I mean, his kick situation is bad, yes, but also he might have done it to get his health a little lower. So his health is in a way better spot now for a torrent. But yeah, I think, yeah, it's probably a big reason. I mean, that, that extra ether he picked up is going to gonna help him out a lot. <laughs> no, Wave is doing late surge. He does, uh, Wave has a really nice lead here. Wanli with the middle can, it's not... Amazing, but you like seeing the can. A 43 surge in a race, imagine. This man just changed him to a BB attempt. Screw the tournament. Imagine. While they get controlled by cans. He's going down. I would like to see him go up there, perhaps. But... That's a very, very small nitpick. The only reason I say about going up instead of down there is because, like, when you're walking up, you're kind of going towards, you're going towards where you're going to be. If that makes sense, like you're go, you need to go up to surge anyways. You need to go up to fight this guy, Tucker. So going down there doesn't really benefit you that much. But I mean, whatever. That's a, like I said, it's a very small nitpick, and it's not that big of a deal. I would have saved him a reset, but it's not. Not anything crazy. If he just beat Surge here, we'll just call it a minute. Uh, it should be going into the Mart to buy some stuff. Buying his Awakening. Okay, I, I don't mind that. He like, used all of his Awakenings, so... I don't mind that. Okay, now we pray for Wanli. I'm not worried about anybody else right now but Wanli. Um, let me scroll. Let me see the rolls he's getting here. He's Rast 25. That's a good... Ah, dude, see, this is why Citrus Berry kind of sucks, man. Because this health is not great health. You get yeah. Shockwave by Raichu, like, you're, you're just... You're putting yourself in a situation where you always have to hit a kick. Like, you can't really pulse pulse with Citrus in this situation. Yeah. But regardless, it looks like Wani's taking 37 to 43. Thunderwave turn one. That's honestly not bad. That's a great scenario for him right now. Because ideally he gets hit. Ah, that sucks. I would have... God, Raichu sucks, man. Misses. He water pulses on this turn. Yes. He's genius. 75%. Oh, that sucks, man. He gets another chance, though. Citrus God item. Come on. Damn, yes, Citrus I, actually plus. Dude, that was actually crazy. Like, that's like one of the very small scenarios where Citrus like saves your ass. And you love to see that. Wow. 
Wanley is smarter than me confirmed. I love it. And I'm not even mad about it at all. Yeah, that was definitely a little sweat there. Because he could have gone fully paired, and that would have been horrible. He also could have just missed. It would have been horrible. Like, but luckily, Wanley gets that and taps it in. So he's definitely not mad about this. A, like, high 48 surge. Still behind Wave, but I would say Wanley has a nice little lead on Chippy here. Especially since Chippy is just cannot hit a Mega Kick to save his life this run. Game is not wanting him to have a good time. Wanley on Martha. We're checking out Wanley now. Or, I mean, Wave, sorry. Fighting the Oddish. His health. I guess he probably bites. Like, oh, pulses. Bite pulses a range. Gets it. Okay, you'll definitely probably see him super. Should be missing the 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 bell spot range. That bite is a range. Nice wave. Holy wave is on, like wave is on a good ass run here, man. Wow. Let me see it. I haven't really been paying attention to his split that much to this point, but but now he's past Martha, so he's cruising. And this race is honestly still very close. I mean, Wave has a nice lead, but I mean, Wanley's past Surge. Wanley will close the gap with Wave a bunch. Um, obviously, assuming his Rock Tunnel goes well, that is. Let's see. Wanley's still about one, two, three, four, five fights behind Wave. And Chippy's one, two, three, four fights behind Wave. So, yeah, I mean, it's still anybody's race at this point, honestly. Even though Wave is a nice lead. Yep. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody does beat the, the, the 206 flat in one of these next coming up races. I mean, this run is definitely uh, good enough to do it for Wave. But, you know, we got a long way to go before we can start talking about that. Definitely. Wanley just missing kicks, man. Like, God, I just hate Mega Kick. Oh yeah, we fought Lenny. Okay, I was I was very confused there, but I for just forgot he was fighting Lenny. Wanley just missing, man. Just cannot get a break here. This is kind of ridiculous. His health is solid, though. Torrent, that is. Yeah, Chippy using his Ether there on Mega Kick instead of using his Elixir. I honestly kind of like that. I I'm, I'm interested to see when he will use his Elixir now. I guess he'll just use it at the Interrock Tunnel, which is fine. That makes sense. Wanley hitting his kick. Finally. Okay. Wave is at a rock tunnel. Hope to see it. Or wait, wait, is he at a rock tunnel? No, no, he's on. He's on this chick, Sophia. Oh my gosh, I was about to say. Oh, Wanley. Okay. Good, Good catch recovery. by Wanley. Great recovery. Wow. God gamer. Yeah. So Wanley kind of like fat fingered there a little bit and went up. One tile whenever you run a bike. I mean, he hit the run to bike very solid, but he got very, like, I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird thing that happens. God, that's a really, that's a really small window to be able to do that. That's really impressive. Yeah, for sure. You got to react fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Wave is cruising still. Chippy's on this fight. Getting confusion. Don't do it. Thank you. Wanting the Torrent so we can water pulse this Venonet. Guaranteed to die. Yeah, so Wanley's right on Chippy, right behind Chippy. Two fights behind, but he has already fought Surge, so I'd honestly say Wanley's ahead of Chippy at this point. Wave is looking good. With Chippy going into Oddish, let's see what happens. Sunspore hit, they never miss, but we always miss. Not sure why that is. Chippy has used... Yeah, yeah, 
true. Chippy has missed so many. Or he's not yeah. missed so many well, not only has he missed so many kicks, but he's also gotten status so many times this run. It's kind of insane. Why are they getting? Wow. Why are they getting crit by the slowpoke? To 2 HP. Holy moly. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wave out of rock tunnel. Wasn't really paying attention, but that's a low 54 rock tunnel for wave in a race. Pretty fast. Pretty freaking fast for late surge. That is pretty fast. Wait, Wade bought another revive there? Did he already use one of his revives? No, dude. There's no way. I mean, there's not didn't. much to lose. I mean, I yeah, mean, I mean, you have the money to do it, I guess. The late surge money is a little, a little tighter than that, but it's okay. Only taking down the second slow poke. Wait, who is? Oh, it should be fighting Lenny. Okay. okay, 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 we're good. Maybe I'm silly and wave Diddy's revive, and I haven't been paying attention that much, but but I really don't think with this run he's died. But it's not. It doesn't really matter, regardless. Wave being quick. Don't do it. Okay, good. Otis going down for Martha. Please, Bonnie, tap it in. Good. Bonnie through Martha. Definitely, like, once you get past Martha, honestly, you definitely feel a little bit of relief off your shoulders because the fight can just troll so hard. Definitely the worst, one of the worst fights on this split. It can just go so bad. It's crazy how that fight is just bad in every run. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or it can be. It can just be so easy, but it can just be so bad at the same time. Wave having a potion. That makes sense. Dead to quick attack from the eradicate. Wave is running. Wave is running. Wave is running. Thank you for getting on the bike. <laughs> Yeah, at least, he, at least he was running and not walking, am I right? True. Port Water Pulse, one shots this Raticate. Pretty lovely. Chippy is good. Fighting this guy. Dudley. Wani about... Wait, is this a, that's the second one? So Wani's about, what, four pokes behind Chippy at this point? A little bit of movement. It's not too far behind. At all. <laughs> Holy. Wave is kind of cruising here. When you're in torrent and you're, you know, in this this part, it's kind of kind of just chill. The first couple fights in here should be a nice run to bike. Nice dismount. Okay, taking a little safe, but that's okay. That move, that room is definitely like low key scary. Like, just one like one misstep with the run to bike, the guy sees you. One like miss, you know, you mess up the biking by one tile, you go down one tile too early. The trainer sees you and they have four and it's just very bad so definitely no shame in taking that a little slow okay chippy hitting his kick that's good finally him just hitting a kick chippy and hitting the kick first try who would have thought that was legal okay also that movement wave did there is pretty scary it's pretty easy to do but like if you just mess it up by one tile again, I mean, it's a five optional or five poke optional. It's just, oh, 
All right, a 5844 rock tunnel for Chippy. About oh, four minutes behind Wave. I mean, Chippy's run honestly is not that bad. It's just Wave's run is kind of insane. Like, considering Chippy died to Rival 3 and had a very slow Rival 3 the second time as well. Like, oh. Still a very nice run. He's definitely not out of it, so. I don't expect him to give up. Absolutely not. Um, Wanli, do the bag. Okay, he got there. We're good. Just through there. Hey, these guys are cruising. Wanli will have to hit a kick on this fight. Uh, wave. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, this is a good, good little point to talk about this. With late surge versus early surge. When you're torrent for these fights, with late surge, it's so much. It makes these fights so much better. Like neither one of the Ekans are guaranteed to die without torrent. Um, like, and they can just troll you, and then the Arbot can also troll you not being in torrent. Like, it just saves you yeah. multiple turns being in torrent. Like, so important. What were you saying? Yeah, can't kill the Arbok. It, it, it racks up pretty quickly. Just like, yeah, if you sure. get a good spirit, you'll get automatic. Yeah, like. Yeah, hundred percent. It's multiple turns just being drained from you, and it can be more if they've status you. Like, uh, Chippy doing the run there too. <laughs> Wave did. Okay. He ran less tiles than Wave though, so save time. He ran less tiles though, I can. They all are torrent. All three of them are torrent here. Don't do it. Okay. To be dead to crit there, but I mean, nothing you can really do. Oh boy. Wave candying up. Get his Blastoise. Um, this fight, this fight with Late Surge, I mean, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, it's the exact same. Kangaskhan just dies in three hits, and... Yeah, I mean, I'm stupid. It, yeah, you're literally just 36. I don't know what I'm thinking. Chippy grabbing the Nugget. I mean, he did kind of spend some extra money, so I guess it makes sense. You grab that extra Nugget, I mean, you can just ball out in the shop and buy as much stuff as you want, so... Mm-hmm. Except for caution, I guess. Mm-hmm. Would maybe like to see Chippy, maybe, you know, perhaps not play riskier, but, you know, play a little less safe. Um, I mean, we, I don't know, like, Wanley's definitely ahead of him at this point. But, I mean, it's, an, it's anybody's race, and I'm not gonna, I don't want to patronize like that. Wanley getting hit a torrent. We'll see what he's cooking in the lab. Chippy, that is. Uh, that is not torrent for wave. Bite, that's good. He should live. Nice bite, yeah. Good call. Okay, nice. Uh, this is also great health for surge for wave. Love to see it. That was a really good bite. I say great torrent health, but... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Torrent's good here, for sure. Um, what is it? Yeah, it just saves you a setup turn on, on surge, so... Definitely like that. Getting the full benefits of late surge. see wave do a little bit of extra movement here uh, right away just to see uh, this is a little bit of a different movement you do with like surge yeah a lot of biking here it's like definitely the worst part yeah. of it for sure 
You gotta bike so far back. Uh, I hate this part. Did you just get an Abra. Yeah, true. Okay. Um. Maybe that's the future. The future of this game. Yeah, Wanley catching up to Chippy here a little bit. Slowly but surely. About one fight behind. But in reality, Chippy is a two whole fights behind Wanley. So, let's see. How this goes, Chippy is torn for the Arbok, which is what you want. Man and man with the 205. How does he do it every time? Oh I don't gosh. get it. Not sure how he does it. Going for the bite, but gets glare, cringe. Another, just another status for Chippy. I mean, if you look at his bag, I think he literally has one antidote, no para heals, no awakenings. And that's like absurd considering you literally buy four of each. And Chippy also bought two extra awakenings. Holy moly. A little bit of movement. Tile perfect movement there for wave. Had to take an extra step in the grass, I think. Maybe not. I was kind of paying attention. Okay, wave going into surge. This gym is not not scary at all for wave. It's more the more thing you worry about this with late surge is just how good are your cans. You know, you just want better cans. Wow, honey, wave gets good ass cans. Love to see it. Um, should be evolving. One of these good here. Hopefully, wave gets resetless cans. That'd be hype. But this run, that'd been crazy, but it's fine. Bounce with the 208, GG's. Ah, wave getting trolled, man, of course. Third try cans, whatever. Chippy's health is solid here. Might get hit a torrent. Okay, waves fine. Waves cruising. Waves will be cruising for the next couple minutes. All right, so we can look at Wanley and Chippy now. Yeah, little wave is literally just mashing the A button for these next couple fights. There's just nothing, nothing crazy at all here. If you can get any fake out, that's honestly good. Now this is a two-shot range. That's a okay roll. Wanley was already surge, correct? This is a range for Chippy. Hopefully, it dies. Gets mm -hmm. it. Nice. nice. Yeah. And Chippy also at great health for late surge now as well. Beautiful. Love to see it. Yeah, Wally's kind of caught up to Chippy, despite the fact that yeah. Chippy's about to go fight surge. Yeah, for sure. And Wave definitely still has a comfortable couple minute lead on both of them. Maybe not a couple minutes on Wanley, but definitely about a minute and a half at least. Uh, I'd say probably about two minutes. I'll check the Lavender Tower enter time. So we'll see what those times look like. One of these not torrent. Tail whip. He still lives a mega punch here. Ooh. Is that guaranteed? I don't know if that's guaranteed from there. Okay. It might have been, it might just been silly, but I don't know. Regardless, he's through. He's at good health for kick strats, which I assume he'll be doing. Waves through surge. Wave is Liddy on a really good run. Wave gonna do his menu, gonna teach fly, gonna super repel. Equip his black glasses. Needs a potion as well. He knows that. One potion left. That that doesn't matter that much, but honestly it could matter. There's definitely a situation where, you know, one potion could be solid to have, but it's pretty pretty unlikely for it to matter. In all actuality. Uh, it should be selling both his nuggets. Extra 10k. He has a lot of money now. Good thing he noticed that. 
Yeah, I mean, Wanley and Chippy, I mean, literally synced now. I mean, both shopping. Uh, not attaching black glasses yet. Uh, that means he still has the Persium equipped, mm -hmm. which makes sense because he'll be X speeding on Sabrina. Uh, so if he gets, so yeah, it's pretty much having the black glasses equipped literally doesn't matter until uh, Ridden Rival, I believe. So it's, some people have been doing that lately where you can just keep the black glasses off and just keep your Persium on until uh, the menu right before Ridden Rival. Yeah, I would definitely assume Wave will not do Carbos for, I, I, I would imagine. He's got the EVs, right? So. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have five to outspeed, no. no okay, so he's just gonna or... X-speed then? Yeah, he'll just X-speed, which is why he's, why, he's, why he's keeping the Persium equipped, like, just in case he does get the 10% gotcha. confused on Sabrina. Which makes sense. It's a cool little strat that people have been doing, so. And you're seeing right now, Wanley taking, taking over the lead here on Chippy. Chippy having to do all this extra movement while he's gonna have to max ether his mega kick. That's fine. Toss the moonstone, he's out of there. Ooh, Chippy getting the 1%. That's very unlucky. Let me actually make sure it was 1%. No, it wasn't 1% actually. He got punished for the extra movement. So Wanli with a couple minute lead on Chippy here. I mean, Chippy gets bad cans. I mean, definitely would probably like to see Chippy start going a little bit more risky now. When I say go more, more risky, I would just say like him not saving for things. That's because that's realistically all you can do in a race like this in this game. You can't really, you're kind of just like to save time. You're kind of just not saving for things and just hoping for your opponents to kind of get screwed over. Exactly. That's just that's just kind of the unfortunate nature of this game. There's not really a lot of things you can do to, and risk you can take to save yourself time. So, I mean, I might be wrong, but I think this is kind of the boy he was playing last time too. Like he was like kind of behind and he wasn't really taking risks at all, and he only like got bailed out because other people got unlucky in E4, which is a very viable strategy to be fair. But yeah, yeah. Like but, I mean, it, yeah. it's, it's a viable strategy, but it's not always going to pay off. So we'll, we'll definitely exactly. see how it plays out for him this time. Wanley also, hopefully, he's got to tap it in with his kick. He would live a thrash if he did miss, but he doesn't. Thank goodness. All right. So... Wanley about... He is, what, three pokes behind and some movement. PSR TV with the raid. Welcome in, everybody. I'm truly in with Head Bob. We're vibing. Hello. We're you're tuned into a good race here. Wave is on a really good run. GG's to the racers in the previous race. And welcome in. This is one of the final round, final, uh, Matches of round three. We're hanging out. We're chilling. Yeah, GG I don't know how you keep doing it, man, but keep it up. You'll be the two time in no time. All right. So yeah, just to kind of fill everybody, fill everybody in here. Um, Wave is on a really good run here. Wave's on very, very solid pace. I honestly would say he's on pace to contend to your time, or Anand's time. Sorry, um, <laughs> with this run, it's a very, very solid run. He's he's on late surge. He's cruising right now. Uh, Wanley did early surge, and he is chilling uh, right now. A good health. Uh, Chippy just beat surge. He got nothing's really too bad has happened to anybody besides Chippy when he he died to rival three once. Um, and Wanley and Chibi both had pretty bad rock tunnels and Wave just had a very, very solid run all around. So, uh, yeah, so Chibi's a little bit behind here. He definitely obviously can make it up and come back, but he's going to have to start going a little bit more risky, probably. Not saving. Uh, I would expect Chibi not to be saving for pretty much everything at this point. Or pretty much anything. 
Um, Wave's health right now is fine. I don't believe he's at good enough health to where he can keep Torrent for level 42 for Koga, which is what you want with Late Surge, but we'll see what happens. No way. Okay, thank God. Chibi would have been had to crit there. That would have been really cringe. Chibi with the 99% kicks. Let's see what happens. So tap it in a little bit. Yeah, Blade and Wanley, nothing too crazy. I don't really expect them to mess up and miss input anywhere. That's realistically all that could happen for this point in tower. One well, at my favorite HP. Um, Chippy, tap it in. Thank you. All right, Chippy's good. Chippy will need a potion for the uh, rats at the end of this tower. So we'll probably see a potion on the bag menu, probably. Which is fine. This is wave is definitely like favored from here, but I mean, there's definitely universe Wanley could come back, and honestly, I mean, Chibi could come back too. I mean, it's not it's not over till it's over for sure. Definitely in this game, you just gotta keep fighting until until it's just over. You can't can't give up. There's just a ton of fights that can like have yeah. some. That's just have so much variance, you know. Like yeah, exactly. There's so really many hard to actually like... be out. That's right. Wave with the 115 flute. Pretty good. Honestly. It's a high 115, but a very, very good time for a race. Yeah, I mean, literally all it takes is one bad E4 death, and you literally lose minutes. So, like, definitely not over until it's over. Yeah, Wave's definitely in a good position here. I didn't see if he got quick attack, so it would have been nice if he did get a quick attack for his health purposes, but um, regardless, he's fine for now. We'll check out his biker pass in a second. Wanli and Chippy. Wanli on the last fight of tower, I think. Yeah, he is. And Chippy is still a few fights behind Wanli. Ah, uh, Wave getting trolled by the biker there. Okay, go in the bag, that's fine, whatever. It's really hard to react to that first guy. Like, when you try to pass him from the top and he spins up, like, it's a really, really awkward pass. If you're not used to it to go around. But yeah, wave, wave. It's a little monk S of a pass. Or it was completely safe, obviously. That's not what I'm saying, but like, it's definitely just a weird, a weird cards, weird hand to be dealt. My bad. Regardless, being past those bikers is great. You're definitely happy about that, be past those guys. With the runner like wave, like being past bikers, like you don't really expect any optionals to be hit from this point. Like realistically, those those bikers are like the last real chance to hit optionals in this run. Obviously there's still chances to hit other ones somewhere, but like those are like the hardest ones to pass for sure by by far from here to the end. Only grabbing his T, being sick, and dodging the pokes. We will check the Wanley Ways pass momentarily.
I mean, all these guys are still on, I mean, like... I would say Wanley's still on solid pace. Probably like, I don't know. Still 2-0x pace. Uh, Waves on very good pace. I'm not sure Chippy's pace. Probably can still 2-0x with a really good run from here. But he needs some luck on his side. Uh, no, Wanley has, uh, or not Wanley. Wave has Persim equipped right now. Uh, because he is 31 speed with... And he, he's not going get, to get the Carbos for Sabrina. So he's going to have to X speed on Sabrina. So it's actually just better for him to... Keep Persium equipped. I didn't check Wandy's pass. I'm actually disappointed in myself, but he's passed regardless. He's cruising. Chippy's last fight of tower. Smashing that A button on this fight. Wave setting up the cool pass in this next spinner. That's worth noticing. Thank you, Aniba. Just nice and safe. No, you know, no reason to take it too, too risky when you have a nice lead on third place. You definitely want to, if you're one, you're definitely playing a little bit safer here. Cause knowing you have a lead on Chippy, you're you're definitely playing a little bit different. You're not playing too safe, but you know you're you're chilling. This helps for Chippy. I do believe he probably keeps Torrent for 44, which is what you want. He'd still get quick attack here, which would guarantee it. He did not, though. Yeah, Wave's going to be doing level 40 Koga. Unfortunate. But, you know. With this big of a lead, I can imagine he doesn't care too much. Check this pass from Wave. I love this. It was perfect. Ab that was absolutely perfect. Oh, he's just candying. Wait, is he Torrent? 39. I mean, Wave's smarter than me, so I'm assuming. Wow, perfect Torrent. Holy. What a genius. Who said 40, level 40 Koga? Holy. Saving, I mean, respectable. Definitely, like, you're definitely, like, when you're in the lead in a race like this, you definitely play a little bit differently and... When I say differently, I mean you're playing a little bit safer. You're not you're not really changing what you do on fights. You're just saving for more things, probably healing extra times on fights if you have to. Like Wave has a very big lead right now. So like there's no real reason for him to do anything risky here. It's like why would he Why would he do anything scary here? Tracking Chippy's pass. Okay, he's through for sure. Okay, nice. Minimize. Hit for wave, please. Good. Ugh. It's not talked about enough, but literally, like, majority of the time, you just have to hit a mega kick on that muck on the second turn. It's just not very fun. But, you know. It is what it is. Yeah, not getting the main treatment. And this is an 11 and 16 range in Torrent at level 42. So, good. I mean... Wave is just absolutely cruising, man. One twenty-two Koga. Yeah, that was rough, man. But yeah, Wave is literally in Cruise City. He is the mayor of Cruise City right now. Damn. Absolute mayor. He might be the governor if it was the state. But it's not. Alright, Wave's chilling. Let's check out Wanley's fight here. Nothing too crazy going for, on for Chippy. The state of Cruz, Wave is the, the governor, for sure. Like, from here, let me think. So, I guess the only bad thing to think about this for Wave is he won't have Torrent for level 44 for Erica. So, that's something he has to, you know, figure out. Oh, he's out of Torrent for Blaine. Yeah, that is a good point. Um, I guess he could just X spec on Growlithe or something. I don't know. It just goes back to if he literally just would have took one quick attack or something, he would have been chilling. Yeah, but he'll be fine, though. He knows what to do. He's not... Bold strategy by Wave. Not pressing right. I'm sure he did a million times, but it just got eight. No big deal. Wanley... 
critting one turn too early. I mean, why does that always happen? Why do you always crit the coffin, but never this guy? Come on, Wanley. Yes, sir. Good job, Wanley. Getting that 6 and 16. You love to see it. Huge. Early surge. Genius. Wait, waves repel wearing off extra early there. Or extra late. Why Why did his repel wear off that late? Is it because of... Got on the island, I guess? I don't know. It's weird. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> that was just weird. I was not used to seeing the repel. Um, Headbob's just a lampin'. No big deal. Fighting the champion in the Kanto region. Yeah. Locked in. It's all good, man. We're hanging out. Okay, nothing too crazy happening now. Wait, so... I don't even know. I don't even know what he's gonna do here for Blaine. He's gonna level out. I mean, he can just what? What can he? What can he do? I mean, does Rapidash die to no torrent surf? Probably not, right? I don't remember. Uh, he's gonna expect turn one. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. So I mean, I guess like you could. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You could either bite, serve Arcanine, but I don't know if I don't know how much Arcanine does. I don't really remember, but it's fine. While they getting Carbos, he's good. Wave doing the questions, he's chilling. Chippy starting Koga. Let's see what happens. Hopefully he can just get out. Oh, also worth noting he is doing late surge, so he's level 42 for Koga here. Way freaking better than level 40. It was a great roll. I mean, it was a crazy roll. Not that it mattered at all, but... And then he gets acid armor on top of that. It's nice. Okay. I think... Come on, Chippy. Just tap it in, buddy. Good job. Nice. They all get the range. Yeah, all nice. three got Weezy and Reigns. Sure, we take that. Sure, we love it. Wait, wave? Okay, what's fine? Wave's just gonna bite, I guess. Arcanine does- Wave live and Arcanine hit? I don't know. I know it can do a lot of damage. I mean, I don't remember how much it actually does for round two, but... Been a long time. And honestly, well, I said honestly. I was trying to say Wanley, but I said honestly. <laughs> okay, but Wanley is catching up a little bit on wave, but that's mainly because. Um. <laughs> okay, easy for wave. He's there. Uh. Wanley. Um. Wanley didn't teach Blizzard, Wave did teach Blizzard, so that's why Wanley looks like Wanley caught up a little bit more than he actually did. Yeah, let's be Wanis, guys. It's okay. Okay, guys, give me a break. GG, Bob. Alright, so what is worth talking about now? is Wave will not be Torrent for Erica, which means, what does that mean? He has to Blizzard Blizzards. Vileplume, he has to Blizzard Vileplume, and he could still- And Victory Bell. And Victory Bell, yeah. That sucks. Hmm. 
I wonder if it's worth. You could like, have stuck on Victory Bell, yeah. but you get stun spore. Yeah, so what I'm thinking though would be like, okay, you have to hit the 70% Blizzard on. I don't know if he bought extra X accuracies, but like you do have to hit the, the Naked Blizzard on uh, Victory Bell. But what if instead of X specking on the Tangela, you X accuracy on the Tangela? Got ingrain, and then you just hit the 93%. I don't think that's crazy. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's not worth an X accuracy, but I mean, it saves you the, the trouble of having to hit that 70%. I don't know. It's obviously worse than just hitting, and it's a very safe play for him, but, you know. I'm just thinking out loud. And I, I don't, for what it's worth, I do not think he will do, will do it. I mean, x -Spec doesn't really do anything for you. Because if you're not in Torrent and you're plus one, I mean... Yeah, it would, for sure. But you have to be plus one and you have to be in torrent for the bio plume to die, right? Like I'm not crazy thinking about it. All right, head back. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the um at the current level. Like in, in round two you can do that, but Yeah. So not that's why I expect enough. isn't better, Matt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you'll see Wanley lose a little bit of time to Wave here. That's mainly because Wave's already done the menu that he's had to do. Wave's already candied. Another thing that I noticed too about late versus early surge here is you already like try to learn Rain Dance, and then on this split you learn Rain Dance as well for Wanley because he's uh, early surge. Wave hitting his first Blizzard, genius. So yeah, so you're losing time to menuing. You have to teach Blizzard. You have to candy, and you have to not teach. Rain dance, which is, you know, it's a bunch of time. Just hit yeah. wave. Just hit, buddy. Should be going so likely. Questions. Yeah. There we go. Good job. Hitting his naked blizzards. Imagine. The only one. That's it if we just couldn't exact anywhere. We just, if we had to use, like, blizzard. Like. <laughs> Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, Matt, it's, it's kind of favored to use ingrain. That's why a lot of people like to set up on it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, another cool thing about late surge here, you get to fly to Saffron City compared to having to bike to Saffron City. That's a cool little, cool little thing. Yeah, it's slightly faster than, than coming from Celadon. I think actually the, the difference is if you have to go shop in the Saffron Mart like some some folks do, like it becomes not worth it to to, to fly there and just come from the right side instead. So it's like it's like very close. Oh my goodness. Uh, I believe Ice Beam is in where's Ice Beam in the, the game casino? corner. Game corner. Yeah. yeah. And it's just not as powerful as Blizzard. You would definitely use it. You would definitely use it if it was easy to get. Heads up. Imagine they put it in the game corner and didn't just keep it as the original. Keep it on top of the... On the thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Cringe. The TMs on on the, on the the rooftop are really bad if I read the screen. It's like... Well, I guess not really. It's like reflect, light screen, and protect. Which are like good moves, but not for speed running. Yeah. Okay, Wanli looks like Wanli's through. Wait, what happened to Wanli? Why is he this high of health? I was like, um, not paying attention. Hit the blizzard. That's cool. Hit the blizzard. It's all that matters. I'm guessing he healed at some point, but whatever. Now he doesn't need to heal on the next minion, so it's fine. He's chilling. He is fine. Chippy's making his way to Air Canal. We're checking out Waves fight here. A little x a little double x spec. Don't get critical hits. Honestly, with this health, oh, he didn't buy extra x accuracies, I don't think. So he can't double x ac anywhere. Wait, so let me think. Where do you actually use x from here? Viridian Rival. Viridian Rival. Lance. Champion. 
So, I mean, he does have one extra. He has one extra. So he could do some, like, one extra fight. Yeah, you have to Magma it before Rival anyways, and you have to Max Elixir before uh, Sylph Rival. So you always uh, you have to Magma it for the spinner anyway, so it's just worth to like just use it there regardless. You always have to Max Elixir after that. Holy Wave taps it in, he tapped in his first Blizzard, taps in his second one, good job. Good job, good job. Wave is definitely happy to be past this stuff. And since Wave does have the Purge Zone equipped from here, he's kind of cruising, honestly. Back to Cruise City. I mean, he is the governor after all. I'm definitely seeing a blue name from Ekman Larson. Want to get past a guy? Lovely. Um, wave's good. So mainly the only really thing that's kind of scary for Wave here would be like fake out into Mega Punch. But even then, I think he tanks that. So with this defense, um, Chippy fighting this. He's Torrent, so he can just do x spec here. He could opt to just go for the Blizz, maybe save some time. But I will see what he does. Okay, he's just gonna x spec anyways, that's fine. Uh, we'll check out Wanley's fight here, sets up an Ack, sets up a spec. Imagine using light mode, kick W. Um, Wanley looks good here. Chippy's through Erica. Wanley's good there. Please, Wanley, tap it in, my dog. Good job. Needs to do one more. And I don't want to be. Well, let me. Let, okay. let me. Uh, let's let let Wanley hit this first before I talk. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, like I'm saying, like it literally would just take one bad Blizzard miss for Wanley, and Chippy's just right, right back in it with Wanley. So, Soul Rival is a pretty bad fight to die on. It's like one of the biggest Very time slow. sinks. Yeah, because you're instantly forced to reset. It's just you got to set up again. Waves it. Okay, well he doesn't get fake out. 13, 16 range gets it. Nice. He's chilling. He does have to X spec or X speed on Sabrina, but he has. Wow, should be giving Ooh, control. Good recovery. Guy. Yeah. Oh for sure. Was that safe though? I don't know if it was safe. Pretty sure it was. I mean, where was he gonna move? Oh, he you're could right. Move yeah. Up. yeah, I guess if you do it fast enough, he that he can't move. Cause you kind of block him in. I mean, can he not like try to turn towards you? I don't know. Waves chilling. It's like I was saying, even though Wave has X speed on Sabrina, he does have the per he can't die to crit, and he has the Persium, so if he gets confused, he's fine. So literally he's chilling. Wanley's at good health. Bro, this Wanley on the other hand is I like Wanley doesn't Wanley's in the exact same situation as Wave. He has to X speed on Sabrina. Um but he doesn't have the Persium, so he could get trolled there, but Hope that just doesn't happen. Did Chippy save? I don't think Chippy saved. Which is, I mean, which is kind of what I wanted him to do. I didn't want him to save here. And I think he knows that. With this health, you could honestly opt to double X-Act. He is, like, I love this play, to be honest. It's it's a very underrated play to do, to like, just go to a little bit higher health after Erica, and just double X-Accuracy on this fight. It gives the Pidgeot one more turn to crit you. It could put you in a really weird situation, but it's just so much better, because now this fight's free. Can't miss a Blizzard, and he's just chilling, so. It's like borderline, yeah, like, like, worth it. 
because like you don't have to yeah. save. Like, like I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I would definitely like seeing more people adapt that strat. I mean, it's a little riskier, I guess, because of the extra turn to crit. But not really. Yeah. I mean, you saw there, you still was gonna live a crit even if he got crit. Yeah. If you heal the like, you can definitely heal to not have to put yourself in that kind of situation. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, definitely a good play for sure. I love that. Uh, looks like Wanley did get the Kangas ring. Actually, you know, he got fake out. That's, that's what happened. Got fake out, but then got the range. Wave is now on the literal cruise split. I know we've been saying that a lot, but this this split is the absolute <laughs> the absolute biggest one of them all. Smash your A button for five minutes, and you'll be good. Hey man, you also have to think about whether you have enough serves for like a millisecond. True. Which we'll be able to tell immediately, right here. I'm assuming he does. Yeah, I mean... What, what usually, situation would you not... There's like no... I guess... Where would you not have enough serves? I guess well, you just I mean, it's only ever a problem if you don't have Torrent. First of all. Because you can literally water pulse everything in Torrent here, so... Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, 13, 16 range on the Cubone, gets it, good. Wave hat, er, Wanley has to X speed on the Venomoth. Uh... Wait, did he not? I guess he carbos. Oh, okay. Okay, whatever. So we'll see how Bruno goes. I mean, guard spec isn't that bad most of the time. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know. I just wasn't paying attention that much, I guess. It's all good, man. Yeah, nothing too crazy happening now. I mean, now you're just kind of... Now I'm on these in Cruise City. Um... Yeah, Chibi definitely Carbos with this, the, the speed EVs he got, because he got Bubble and then fight, fought Rocket. So yeah, that's three. So yeah, that three plus Carbos, he doesn't need, yeah, he's good. He doesn't need X speed on Sabrina, so yeah, he's chilling as well. Looking good. All three of these guys are in good, I mean, they're looking good. Obviously, Chippy needs some help if he wants to win this race. But, everything's on the table. Yeah, this this split, the Giovanni two or Giovanni three, it's honestly like the calm before the storm. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, literally every fight after the Giovanni split has a realistic chance to fuck you over. Yeah, lo make you lose time or make you just die. Like, like every single fight from here to the end. <laughs> Great game. Yeah, so realistically, you're, we're probably not seeing Chippy save for anything from here to the end. We'll probably see Wave take safety saves on everything from here. The fights that you normally would save on in Elite Four. Viridian, I would assume he saves for Viridian Rival, Bruno, Agatha, Lance, Champ. I would, I would assume he saves for all those with a lead like this. And honestly, he's not as far ahead of Wanley as I thought, to be honest. He's still ahead, but... I mean, it's one fight, ahead. right? Yeah. Well, I guess it's like a fight and a half. This is looking like a 143.25. Okay, that's way longer than I thought it was. 
147. Yeah, I mean, he's literally on 205 base. Yep, very, very good run right now for Wave. Hopefully the E4 like can just... Yeah. I'm writing all these down. Okay, Wave doing typical stuff here. You're gonna see him full restore for this fight, super repel, and then hit the save button. Because you're just a 7% miss away from death on this fight majority of the time. Especially with Rash. Raise your leaf, go owie. If missy. So it is worth noting, I mean, Wave's just on crazy good run, but I mean, Wandy's also on a very, very respectable run as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, Wave getting Feather Dance here. Could double x Act if you had that extra accuracy. That's why you buy extra kids. He'll be fine. Right. He is 93% to be fine after all. Actually, wait, does he he would live from here, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, he would live. Okay, so I guess that's I guess that's another another thing about getting feather dance is you're kind of always guaranteed to tank a razor leaf, so that that makes sense actually to not mix accuracy. Again. I didn't check one these time. Damn it. Uh I think he had like a 145. 145, we'll go 145, 20, screw it, 20-ish. So yeah, Wanley about, I mean, he's less than two minutes behind Wave, so I mean, that's literally just one bad E4 fight away from catching up, so. Definitely, uh, Wanley's still in contention to win this race, for sure. Wave getting the typical fight here. X speed on Growlithe. She can outspeed the Alakazam. Yeah, I need my boy Juan to focus. I think he I think he's pretty locked in though. We're good. Wave's cruising. Don't expect him to mess up any of this movement in uh Victory Road. I mean, just one of the best best players in PSR. I mean, just expecting to have very solid execution here. Hey, okay, Wiley needs to tap it in here with a 93% hit. Since Wiley didn't get Feather Dance, you know, he's probably in a situation where he doesn't live that Rage of Leaf, but like I said, he's 93% to be okay, so. I think he's probably going to live that. But he's good, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm checking Chippy's time here. It's like four minutes behind wave. Yes. Yeah. Which is still time. like a 20 x pace, like. Yeah, I don't know what one his geo time was, but he's like, he's like two minutes behind wave. Yeah. Okay. I have I have them all written down. I'm gonna send it in a second whenever Chippy gets out. Um. Yeah. Chippy does have Sandshrew. Yeah, that's something for that's sure. Something. <laughs> and it's named named A as well. Take time. Wow. That does actually save time. So why we not nickname our Rattatas then? Because that's the case. you don't use it as much. Fair. Uh, I guess, yeah, for strength. You use it for cut and strength. Makes sense, makes sense. Wait, I wasn't looking, man. 
140. We'll go for 148. 20. Screw it. Yeah, yeah. All right. See ya. Should be around five minutes behind one or behind wave. A couple minutes behind uh, Wanley. Definitely gonna need some help here if he wants to pull us out. But I've honestly seen crazier things. There's been crazier E4s. You know, there's definitely been wild endings. So obviously I'm not hoping that happens. Uh, wave doing the safer repels. I respect it. It's fine. With this big of a lead, I mean, why? Why not? Honestly. Safer repels and then he repelled before the water. Yes. Makes sense. Just eliminates the chance of you getting an encounter at the end, which is nice. Yep. Oh yeah, I mean I'm definitely here for it. Like I wouldn't like seeing anybody get screwed over here, but I mean it would content. be it would be top tier content if Chippy ended up winning this race, so Just so different than like a red race because I mean I guess not that different, but like generally you have a sense of who's gonna win, like Yeah around sure. the halfway mark. But yeah, like a like a red race, like once you're here at this point, you're kinda cruising, like I mean you can't really die to Lorelei. Can't really can't die really to Bruno. Bruno. So it's really just like let Agatha and Lance decide pretty much. The final yeah. three fights decide. I mean yeah, that is worth noting as well. I mean like Third place is always eliminated here. Um, so yeah, Chippy's definitely gonna not be saving for anything, gonna definitely just be going. And Wait, so it's all that, winners in one second place? It's all winners in every second place except one. Second oh, okay, place. okay. So that is nine people. So yeah, if you get last, you're out, so. One of these three will be eliminated, guaranteed. Which is pretty sad, because all three of these guys are very, very good racers, so... Yep. But sometimes that's just the cards you're dealt with your draws. You can't really do anything about it. Very unfortunate. Yeah, so like, I mean, unlike Red, like... Agatha is just one of those fights that you just cannot play safely. You just have to just bite the bullet, and you can just get super fucked over and over again. Yeah, it's actually kind of ridiculous. In red, at least you can like... I don't know. You can actually somewhat play safe if something bad happens, like... I mean, the fact that red bar is like just an option in, in red, and not like actually required, like Torrent is sometimes. Yeah. Like... Just makes a big difference. Okay, that's two specs for wave. This is the third coming at you. Ice beam. Three turns of no hail. That's a critical hit. Okay, come on. Surf, check this. Four yeah. Four turns of no hail. All right, check this. Lynch here is like really important. Crit's even better. Nice, uh, don't do it. Okay. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, this nice. This is kind nice of scary hailers. though. It is, but I just assume he heals on that first turn one. I mean, he should. But he's gonna get, he's gonna get confused, right? Guaranteed, basically. But I would take that pay that that. I don't know. I would take confused Ray over being dead to a crit. I don't know. Yeah. No, you're probably right. But... I mean, like, it varies person to person for sure. But like, like some people, you would definitely see try to try to cheese a a, a bite on the Lapras. And maybe get the flinch, but it could definitely be very, very punishing. Oh, absolutely. If not, we'll see what happens. One going into Lorelai, not saving, saving a little bit of time on Wave there, because Wave did save. Yeah, if Wave can just get past Agatha, you really should have this locked up. Yeah. Yeah, Wave playing it, play, playing it safe. I love this, honestly. I'm not a fan of just risking the body slam crit. He got crit. <laughs> yeah, at point proven right there. Paralyzed. I mean, he gets it's para. That's fine. Okay, no confusion. Right? He lives a crit from here. Wow, that's, that's cringe. Yeah, yeah, it's a heal. Damn. 
checking out Wanley's fight. I think he got hail on the first turn. He did. Not paired this time. Flinch here is the nutties. Chippy risking the tiles here. Chippy's not repelled. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on there. Um, okay. So is this HP four star turn one for wave, or maybe like potion turn one or something? Yeah, yeah you. It's too high to guard spec, I think. You could. You could potion once before the fight. Yeah. Stay I don't know. We'll see what he goes. We'll see what he does here. Since he already saved him, I mean, I assume he's just going in. Obviously. Yeah, probably just gonna four star turn one, but like. This defense, it might put him too high. We'll see though. Okay. Try to keep an eye out on Chippy when he's going into the slappers in a second, but I'm kind of watching Wave at the same time. Okay. He doesn't do forward sword turn one. Forward sword turn one is the absolute safest play you can do, for sure. Maybe hoping for like one crit. Be nice. Yeah, it's, yeah, but this defense HP combo, you would de he's definitely gonna need some little bit extra damage. You're probably gonna see him he's stall like with getting, the guard spec. Probably gonna guard spec, yeah. That's uh, not this not is gonna quite. be too much. He's That's gonna horrible. level out. Yeah. He needs the guard spec. He's probably gonna have to super afterwards as well. Oh, oh my oh god. My. Wait, no, he expects. He's still gonna get rock to him, right? So oh, yeah, okay, okay. That yeah, yeah, okay. We were we were tripping there. We were tripping there because he was always gonna right. he was always gonna rock to him in that turn. You're good, Wave. You're good. You're he's good, fine. brother. He's good. He actually needed to do something there. He was gonna get roar, so can't get roar with no extra pokes. But oh, adds up. But yeah, Wanda getting trolled on Lapras. This is not making him happy. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, so we were kind of tripping there. Like, after you X speed, uh, the Onyx prioritizes dropping your speed again, so that's why you're, you're gonna see Rock Tomb there. Uh, yeah, it was just a very awkward situation for Wave. Definitely can imagine being a little flustered in the moment. With the t with, uh, everything being on the line here. Oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, this makes sense. He's gonna potion. Yep, yeah, yeah okay. Because he has the Force Guards back there. So normally you would be just full restoring turn one here, but because one leaves forced guard spec because of his speed management. Well, it looks um, like Chippy's going for Pokey Eye strats here. Oh, that's a weird crit. Uh, he has to finish setup on the the cloister. Cloisters, cloisters a really easy poke to set up on. So probably not gonna I've never, get hailless, I've never, but... Yeah, yeah, I've never seen this. Like I always wonder what would happen in the situation if you had to do this, but this is cool to see. Ah, yeah. oh, that sucks. Hail in the last possible turn, man. That sinks. Swan going in. Doing guard spec strats. Let's see how it pays off no for protect, him. Though. That's good. getting trolled so bad. He's gonna... Wow. Don't do it. Oh, boy. Yeah, he, has, he has a super. It's gonna... I don't know what it's doing he, here. Earthquake? Okay. Good rock to him. Oh, that's enough. You okay. Go. All right, good. He's yeah. good? He's okay. good. Wants through. Okay, we're checking wave. He's specking. He's speeding. Chippy is Thank good. It's a Lapras. Our lives. Everybody's good now. Everybody's good right now. Okay. Wave's missing. Okay, this is now a 50 50 surf. Okay, right. it's good. Wave's through. Okay. Wands good on that side. Can't nothing happen to him. He's spamming surf. Wave's spamming surf. We're watching Chippy now. Let's see how his Lapras goes. So hard to keep up with all this stuff, but we're trying. Got Hail and Lapras at the first. Body Slam, he has to heal uh, now for sure. Okay, Ooh, I mean, you could, could go, I yeah. like this, I like this, I like it, I like it. Crit, flinch. Uh -oh, Don't do it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, why okay, does okay. it always do it? Oh, that's cringe, he has to heal. It's not the absolute end of the world. Arguably puts him at better HP for Bruno. If he doesn't get parried. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is good. Yeah. This is just normal strats, spec spec speed on lap on a onyx for him. Okay. 
You're not gonna see. We're not gonna see Chibi save here. I would imagine we're not seeing him save for Bruno or Agatha here. I'd hope not. He's a full fight behind Wanley. Two yeah. full fights behind Wave. I mean, he just he needs it all here. Just cannot he's, handle a death anywhere. He's, he's literally banking on a one. Like he needs a Wanley death here. I'm, I don't want that. I'm just saying that's what Chibi needs. Um. So we'll see what happens. And on the other side, you see Wave. He's going to full restore and save for Lance here. He's good with 30. He's good. Getting Rock 2 turn 1. He's good. Wanley speeding. Now specking. The 60% of Destiny coming at you. Misses. Misses. Shadow Punch. Oh, boy. It, we have to go. Oh, Three it's dot. a... That's a I big mean, swing. Wow, that's the swing. That's the swing Chippy needed. I mean, that's the swing Chippy needed. He's still behind, but I mean, that's a swing. I mean, he's he's still a full fight behind, but okay, Glimmer Chippy's through. Glimmer of Hope is right. Me saying what could have happened had nothing to do with the outcome there. That is simply unlucky man i'm just don't shoot the messenger man you know i'm just i'm just relaying information wave going for the bite blizz blizz typical lance he's gonna force on this turn wanley has hit the 60 percent of destiny 60 percent okay right. easy okay yeah, that alone probably is not gonna be enough for chip chibi to get there We'll see. Yeah, definitely gonna need some happens. more. I mean, that definitely closes the gap a little bit. Yeah. Wave. Does Wave just force on this turn? He does. Always. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're dead to a Hyper Beam, but you're also dead to the Aerodactyl, so you kind of force the heal there. Nothing that you can really do. And honestly, nah, uh, nah. I'm not gonna say that. It's fine. Gyarados down. He's good. I don't know if Wave double X accuracy. That wasn't paying attention. Yeah. He definitely could have set up another one there if he didn't already okay he did double x act thank you for that so wave cannot lose from here assuming no shenanigans i believe don't even think aerodactyl crit would kill him so uh yeah Hippie we and wanley now in the same fight even though wanley's out of it Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. gosh. Holy. Oh, what okay. the fuck? <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, 75% here. You take these mega kicks. Tap it in. Wait, what is Toxic the miss? That's kind of funny. It's 90%. Holy. Okay. Sometimes lucky. It's very rare to see Toxic on that first turn. Surely it wouldn't happen, right? Would have been fine. Ancient power boost. Happened to me yesterday. It's awesome. Not saving for Lance. I. That's fine. That's fine. Wani can play this fight extra, extra safe and not die here. Um, we're not going to see Wave not save. I would imagine he's. Imagine he doesn't care too much about getting the best tournament time. I imagine he just wants to advance, so. Um. Do we think that we'll see Chippy go for Bite Bite Blizz? Yes, I would imagine so. Did Wanley just heal us? Watch this freeze from Wanley. Close. Oh, you um, go. Um. He... Nah, uh. it's safe. It's safer. It's safer. It's definitely safer. You do that for sure. Same situation as Wave, you definitely you definitely just take it. You take the safer play. Cause now he can I assume Wanley double X act. Since he didn't save and Yeah. Can't really die from here, assuming no one missed input. Sorry. Wave is now on champ. He's good, he's gonna he speeded, he guard specs. This is his first spec. It's his second spec. Aerial Ace will be his third spec coming up on this turn. Aerial Ace. That is not Torrent. So he has to act Blizz the Venusaur. Surely it wouldn't happen, right? 
Clueless. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see what Chippy gets. Check this growth. Get the flinch. Okay. Alright. Come on, wave. Tap it in. Okay, nice. Wave's good. Wave can play this fight really safe from here and win. So he's nice. Chippy really wants to bite here. Hyper Beam from 105. And he's not healing. Going. Gets the range, okay? I mean, you have to heal on Aerodactyl, but I mean... Definitely would have been better to heal on that turn because the Aerod since the Gyarados used Hyper Beam there, it was always going to be charging on that turn. So he's fine. Yeah, Wave at very nice HP. And worth noting here, Wave can play this fight very, very safely from here to win. Um, yeah, to play it very, very safe. Yes. I mean, to be fair, it is kind of a hard thing to think about in the moment. I'd imagine Chippy, you know, he's worrying about catching up. He, there's a lot of things on his mind right now. He's probably looking at their screens, seeing what's happening to them, trying I mean, to make sure. this scenario so many times. I don't know. I mean, I agree. I agree, but I'm just, you know, I'm just laying out kind of what can be happening. Wave taps it in. I don't think he can die from here from extreme speed, so. Looking like a GG from Wave. Very solid yeah. 206. Yep. Yeah, he definitely can't die to crit. No, he so cannot die to him. speed crit here. Yeah. Assuming nope. no misclick, Wave's good. Check out one these arrow, two. or uh, aerial ace crit for one. GG from Wave. Soon we'll be talking to him very shortly. Probably like very shortly. What is happening for Wanley? This is weird. Wanley's getting a lot of damage. Oh, he's just gonna go safe. Wanley's gonna go very, very safe here. He's gonna heal. You're gonna see him guard spec again and just finish setup on this. I mean, Chippy could like play max risky and maybe catch up. I don't know how many. Yeah, Wanley's going very safe here. He's gonna guard spec again and just full setup on this Pidgeot. Feather dance, okay. Yeah, one of these double act, right? Or at least is act once, I don't know. Wow, GG on the slots win, woo! All right. Holy moly. So Chippy, I don't. Okay, hey, nice. Okay, Wanley is looking good here. I mean, you'd, I'd, I'd imagine we just see Chippy skip XX, skip everything. I mean, it, this is it's not still, good. It's still not going to be enough. GD for all area laces. It's a really good race time for Wave. And his oh, E4 was not okay. great. That bailed him out really, really hard there. Good job, oh. Wave. Good job, so, Wave. So, Chippy gets the bite serve. Juan is cruising. I just. Chippy tried everything to bring it back, but I just do not think it's going to be enough here. The Bite Bliss. Yeah, I mean, sick time wave for your E4 for not for being that great. Mason. Yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> I got put twice on Bruno. I got put at exact HP values where okay. I didn't know if I was good or not. And I wasn't prepared that is for before. GG for Wanley. Yeah. Chippy has no chance to win now. Unless probably Cosmic Ray. I could have gotten a 205. If I uh, if I didn't heal on Gyarados, I'm like I was just like I'm not dying to Gyarados crit, like yeah. No, I mean, there's no, no reason to do that, you know. So <laughs> no, yeah, you definitely you definitely played it how you should have with the lead you had in the E4. Also, <laughs> I completely forgot to super repel before Victory Road. That was funny. Oh, okay. Nice. I realized as soon as I entered Victory Road, oh, I was supposed to have a super repel up for that part. Whoops. Wait, so you went through all the water in a super repel? All all the water and the grass. <laughs> okay. <Naked. laughs> nice. GG's though to Wanley as well. Yeah, good job, Wanley. Nice 208. So, Wanley's in semis, waves in semis. Well, a mean, very unexpected tournament run from Chippy. Very impressive. It's going to come to an end this round, unfortunately. But yeah. he's impressed a lot of us with how I'm much sure. he's, how much skill he's brought to the table. Yeah. Definitely would like to see what he can do with PB attempts. Oh, Soft Blizzard. Blizzard. I don't know if he wants to do PB attempts, but I would like to see what he could do if he would, you know, want to maybe do that. Yeah, I mean, Chippy got arguably a, a, a really bad draw. I mean, he plays pretty much... If, if he plays, if he gets pulled with me, like, he beats me. So, you know, and he advances for sure. So it's just very unfortunate. 
Yeah. Should be like, yeah. I mean, literally such a good tourney run for this guy. Like, yeah. considering he didn't really... Pl I don't even think he played the game that much before this tournament. And he's improved a lot since then. And definitely became purr. one of the... Sure. <laughs> definitely became one of the better I also got lasers. <laughs> and it's about time. GG's. GG's Wanley. GG's Wanley, buddy. Um, GG's. What up? Wanley guaranteed to advance. Another round of the tournament for Wanley. Congratulations. My third semi-final, <laughs> man. Hey, this time for sure, man. You kept it close the entire race. I, I mean, like, in the at the halfway point, I had, like, a maybe less than a minute lead, and you kept it there that entire run. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, your Blaine uh, healing stuff, let me catch up a little bit. And then, when I died to Agatha, I was like, dude, no. Yeah. That was I was so scared, I wasn't gonna make the cutoff point to advance. I'm like, no, dude. Also, Chippy got Toxic Miss on Agatha. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, Chippy made a mistake in, uh, I think, in Boat Rival. He had to reset there. I think that really cost him a lot of time. Oh, yeah. yeah, that, was that, yeah that was the main reason why he lost a lot of time, was that fight. Yeah. Otherwise, he would have been right, right yeah, there with you guys, literally. That did. Yeah. Oh, still wait. a 209, not a bad time just, at all. I have I was to say one thing, of, though. Uh, what? What? Out of what? For anything, sorry. Hey, yeah. I don't know if you saw it, but did you see me use struggle? No, you used Wait, you missed that. What? You, you guys didn't see struggle? No, dude, you guys are. Where? What are the commentators doing? <laughs> you watch, dude, like near... you watch three, three feeds with close like ass Gary race, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you do that. he's nervous. Why? Okay, you want to explain why you did that? Because I'm very confused. I, I didn't mean to. Okay, so I didn't ether for Bolt Rival, right? Oh, because I bite crit, clinch the Bulbasaur in Rival 2. So I didn't get right. ether. I missed Mega Kicks to where I used bite and water pulse so much that I used them all. And I used my water gun on Kadavra and I, it didn't kill. And then it confused me to like 1 H 3 HP and then I struggled it. From, and it hit me for 1 recoil damage. And I was <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> like, I have struggle. And like, I'm like, Headbob and Truly are probably losing their minds. <laughs> yep, I used struggle on the rival HP. <laughs> Holy... <laughs> That's, That's crazy. Oh my god. GG is chippy. <laughs> no, GG is the man. chippy. GG's. Yeah, you did amazing, man. Dude, yeah, I can't... Dude. Oh man, dude, from uh, Rival 2 to uh, End of Rock Tunnel was just so miserable. Yeah, dude, we were... I was saying, as you were playing, like, the amount of times you got status that run was absolutely absurd. Yeah. I, I, like, I ran out of antidotes before Rock Tunnel, so I was... That was the part that was stressful for me. I had a buy uh, used, like, awakenings. All, yeah, yeah, you <laughs> used all your awakenings, like all your antidotes, like you used like all your parry heals. Six awakenings Wait, and a berry. That's and crazy. A berry. What? Yeah, yeah whatever. Dude. Got fire to be green. Yeah, did anyone see me get is. rock tomb at seven when I did five to seven on Brock? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Oh. Oh yeah, I saw you get. I saw you had oh. one HP, and I was like, that was cheap. And I'm like, bro, Way Warrior just survived the fight with one HP. I was, I was yeah, so yeah man. I also had thirty uh, special attacks, so I, w I was sweating oh. for Colton. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh! That was definitely a great race out of you all, though. I also like, almost the... died catching a Spiro. Got hi hyperfang, hyperfang flinch from uh, yep. Risky Rocket. Your rocket, yep. Yeah, and I want to just dude. I want to just shout out the Chippy. I mean, bro, like yes, you got dude, you please. you put you did it you did a sick you made a sick ass run, man. Like yeah, the fact bro. that like you you made you made yourself one of the best racers in this game, and it's a very very I impressive run by you. Two or three by the end of the week. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't <laughs> hang your head. Don't hang your head off this because you definitely made a hell of a run. And no, I'm happy I made it this far. And, and you pull it's anybody else besides joking. these two, but hide these two monsters. You know, you definitely advance. So like, you know, definitely definitely yeah. a, a good ass run, like. Good ass run by you, man. Oh, I very, 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 I accidentally very mega kicked the Arbok before Giovanni. Oh, also. we missed. That was fun. You missed. <laughs> you bite flinch on the uh, Arcanine was good, right? Did that, did that help you? Yeah. Yeah, because I was out of torrent uh, for Arcanine. So. Okay. <laughs> man. I told Chippy, yeah, but... I think he was probably the best newcomer for this tournament. Absolutely, man. Not even close. By, by a, not even close. Like, yeah. 
haven't seen somebody be become get well, I guess so if you count Eggman. Time. But I mean, otherwise, like Eggman has experience from PSR a lot. Like yeah, this is yeah, first that's, the, that's a big PSR difference. Game. Yeah, and I don't street run any other game. It took me so long other to get it yellow. He's killing it, dude. Yeah, you're a great runner, dude. So yeah, like truly said, don't let yeah. this be down. Yeah, dude. definitely shouldn't hang your head off this man. Definitely have your head held high because sure. you made a hell of a run, and you impressed a lot of us. So oh, like, hell yeah, bro. Like <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a especially for me. Real. Who the hell is Chiefy, bro? Who the hell is that? <laughs> like, oh no, this guy's yeah, yeah, and you put <laughs> you know who he is now. That's for sure. Yeah, no, I'm, ha I'm happy with my performance. Yeah, so. and you should be, man, for sure. So, hell, hell of a race by you guys. That was really fun to watch. Um, yeah, and if anybody's interested, um, we do have one more race in this round, in this quarterfinal. It is one more. It is tomorrow at, I think, 2, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard. It'll be the last race of this round, like I said. Um, Tournament's going to be over yeah. before we know it. Yeah, and I mean, semis is already stacked, man. I mean, uh, I mean, real quick, let me let me pull this up really oh, fast. A lot of good racers are going to be eliminated this round. Like a lot of good racers. I mean, yeah. I mean, right now, I mean, you got Mockwing, Wave, um, Ekman, Ananan, Wanli. I mean, like absolutely stacked. Math Genius. I mean, absolutely stacked semifinals. Like holy moly, it's going to be insane. Um, we appreciate everybody watching. Hope everybody has a good day. Like I said, one more race tomorrow. Um, it's 2 p.m. Eastern. Any uh, final words from you guys? No. Yep, GG's fellas. Yo, it, it, it was fun. And until next time. more attention.